Okay, so now we have the Ultra Dam. I think there's one thing everyone wants to see. Everyone's asking the question. You're probably shaking in your seat. I know, I know what you want to see, okay? You want to see the dam fail. You want to see my efforts implode, okay? You're probably frustrated because I managed to build this without that happening. Don't worry, I'm here to increase your happiness by exploding the dam. There's a few ways that the dam could go kablooey. Let's first see what happens if we for some reason have a clog in the system. Let's say sand gets into the lines, which is actually a kind of realistic thing to occur because, you know, we're dealing with a river. So if we get enough sand in the lines that say we're running at less than half capacity, one of the turbines are taken out completely. The other turbine has reduced capacity. We can already see that the amount of cooling going into the reactor has reduced. Temperatures are at 500. Still. Still holding steady at about 500. Hitting about 600. That bottom uh, part, you're going to see what's happening is the heat from the reactor is actually coming through into the dam now. Um, this is not good because what's going to happen is the water in the dam is heating up. <laughs> and the water in the dam heating up means that it's not going to be very good for cooling it down anymore. So we're kind of running into a uh, catch-22 here, which is that we're now cooling it with the warm water, which is then going to get warmer. It's going to be fed back into the system and it's going to keep heating up. Uh, the dam water is now actually very warm. Uh, it's hitting 80, 90 degrees. It's starting to just turn into steam. You can actually see bits of steam going through. It's boiling. Uh, the dam is boiling. You can see the water popping up from the little bits of steam going through. So the dam water is boiling. Uh, the titanium is now at 600, 700. It popped up to 800 degrees there for a second. Uh, the, dam, the dam water is still way too hot. It's 100, 105, but it still seems to be pretty stable. It's it's not out for the count yet. Uh, so let's see if we just finish this off and just clog it, clog it all the damn way. There we go. The the top the top parts are completely clogged now. There is no upper cooling coming in. We only have the lower cooling system, which is already overheating. And now let's see what happens. Well, the outside of this is now hitting 900 degrees. 1,000 degrees? N not quite, not quite a thousand, but it's definitely hitting 900 pretty consistently. Um, the reactor is- oh, it hit a thousand! Eh, it's, it's definitely not happy, and it's gonna keep hitting a thousand more and more often. Uh, the dam is now in a huge issue. This, this area is just repeatedly turning into steam. Um, at some point the dam is going to either have a huge bubble burst out, or alternatively, this is going to melt. I'm actually surprised it's holding up this well. Um, I, I did not think that it was going to last this long. This is quite- Oh! Oh shoot! The top of the dam is steaming! Look at it go! So, that's- that's not good. You don't want that- that would be concerning. If a dam starts- starts literally steaming from the top. So, it is legitimately all the way through boiling temperature now. I'm actually surprised that this is working for coolant at all. There's just so much thermal mass in the dam that the reactor is able to toss its energy into. Um, obviously that can't last forever though. And I know what you're asking. What if this one got clogged, Spike? What if the one that's actually most likely to get clogged got clogged? Well, this one's a little bit harder to clog. I'll have to actually pour sand in. All right, so she is clogged now. And we can see what's happening very clearly. Um, the, the effect is immediate. 
I'm actually going to move my camera so that it's easier to tell what's going on here because I'm kind of in the way and I'm aware of that fact. So, moving myself a little bit, let's go back. So now you can see the entire dam situation. Um, so, we got the steam building up. It's going to bubble through and explode. Uh, we're, 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 it's getting close. It's, it's bubbling through a little bit, but once that pressure, there's a lot of pressure down here. Uh, and not just is there a lot of pressure, but there's a lot of heat going on in the reactor. The reactor is now hitting 1100 degrees, 12, 13. The reactor is about to melt down. Um, it's, it's very close. I just, I'm curious when this is going to blow. Or will it just... Be like a tea kettle and just oh wow it, it stabilized i did not expect that to happen uh oh a neutron escaped that means oh there is damage look this isn't perfectly circular anymore there's been damage to the reactor chamber it got too hot I'm actually very impressed that it hasn't melted down yet. This, this is very stable. I mean, of course, if it damaged itself, that means it was right on the edge of a meltdown, but why did it stop? What, what kept it from going? I'm actually kind of confused about that. Could have been so much worse. Could have been so much worse. Hmm. Very interessante. This ceramic is getting super super hot oh shoot no there's a full gap here now that the uh, neutrons are leaking out of probably because this is hitting just insane temperatures yeah the reactor chamber is not looking very good parts of it are just melting and then moving around um, how long can it last like that I don't know Oh, it hit like 1,400 degrees. Yeah, look at that. It's it's leaking. We are leaking radiation all over the place. I'm just I'm just surprised that the temperature issue isn't worse. I thought that the entire thing would melt down in like a brilliant. Ex Don't worry, we will do a brilliant meltdown. I just want to see where this goes on its own. This is like the the most slow, steady, and realistic meltdown of all time. It's not just going boom, it's it's going big boom. I, I get it, very funny. Car looks like a Mogus. Yes, very, very funny. Yes, I've never heard a Mogus joke before. So original, guys, so original. Good job. Alright. So oh! oh, that was close. That got very close for a moment. I got very close for a moment. Very nerve-wrackingly close to going out. I mean, it's really holding up, which is almost scarier. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a kick. We're gonna put a little bit more deuterium into it and see if giving it a tiny bit of a kick. Maybe a few kicks. I mean, it's certainly damn- Oh! Oh, what happened there? Oh, the insulation burned off. Oh, shoot! Oh, that was massive! Okay, so what just happened? Well, let me explain what just happened, um, for why everything just went crazy. The insulation lining this pipe burned off. It caught on fire and went away. So all of the heat from the reactor just went through here and directly into the water of the dam. So, what that means is that the, the dam water just immediately shot over boiling point. Uh, so now we have this explosion. This is a legitimate explosion. Uh, we're at 8 pressure, which is actually, if I were to put dynamite down there, we'd get a pretty similar uh, pressure. So, we're about to experience a legitimate explosion. It's gonna be great. Um, if we look at the pressure display, we can see the pressure is really blowing through this. Not only that, but the heat display, we should probably be able to see the heat traveling through here now. But I'm going to do fancy display just so that we can see this. Look at that. The amount of water being pushed out. 
thousands of tons of water just being yeeted. The entire dam is pretty much being emptied by this. And of course, that means there's less cooling going on. Um, the only <laughs> the only issue being that the reactor isn't really holding heat in anymore, it's just dumping it everywhere. Alright, so I think our soft meltdown test went really well. That was the soft meltdown test. Obviously, it succeeded. The soft meltdown wasn't really much of a meltdown. It survived it. So let's do a hard meltdown. So what's a hard meltdown? Let's increase the amount of deuterium that's inside of the center. Because before we had one limited dot, but if we brought that up to, let's say, five, let's say something breaks in the system that determines how much deuterium to add, and uh, we have a pretty, a pretty beautiful hard meltdown here. This is going to very, very quickly surpass the limits that it was designed for. Um, yeah, so it's already at 1100 degrees. Uh, now it's at... It, it's actually damaging the edges of the reactor already. Well, you can tell something's very wrong. Um, I don't need to block the coolant because it's just going past what this was rated for in the first place. It's actually melting the ceramic. So the hard meltdown, you can see the amount of radiation leaking is already way, way more than what was there before. And the actual dam is beginning to be damaged. Uh, this pressure here is at 11. This is way more pressure than the other one because it's just happening so quickly and we just have this bubble forming. This bubble of death superheated steam. I'm actually surprised that this hasn't exploded more brilliantly. But the amount of radiation it's letting out is just kind of insane. Uh, the heat is still building up. It's at a steady 1200 degrees. We got molten titanium just chilling here. The ceramic is re- oh, there goes the cooling system. We got our eruption here. Because of that, this is probably going to get hotter, which it is. 1400, 1500 degrees. I don't remember what temperature ceramic goes liquid at, but it's got to be getting close. It's got to be getting- oh! Uh, it would appear that the ground around the reactor is beginning to melt. Um, there's no water left in the dam. The literal ground is melting. The ceramic isn't melting. Very impressive, actually. I expected that to happen first. Um, without any cooling, I guess the surrounding area is the cooling. The road is burning, uh, because the road was made out of coal. This is- this isn't even a hard meltdown. This is just a medium meltdown. It, Medium meltdown test. It's it's violent. It wouldn't be good. But but it's not the worst meltdown situation that I have ever seen in this game. I mean it's it's melting the ground around the reactor. This would be very hard to deal with. Quite 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 bad for the environment, considering, you know the massive amounts of radiation being poured out, but still, we didn't get like a really, a really nice- Oh, the car! No, my Prius! <laughs> oh no, not again! The poor guy in the car is just dead. <laughs> Alright. So, could have been worse. Like, sure, it was bad, but it wasn't like end of the world bad, and we want to kind of get it to end of- Oh! Oh, it's getting to 2,000 degrees! Maybe it will hit ceramic melting temperature soon. Um... I'm, I'm kinda curious if this will actually, like, fully melt down at some point. No? No? Doesn't want to? Sad. Alright, it's time for the full mega meltdown situation. Alright, so the system's been off for a while, and rather than it shutting off the, uh shutting off the valve, someone forgot. 
and it's just been filling with deuterium for the past month. Just just a little bit. They didn't close the valve all the way, so it's just been slowly leaking in. And an employee is about to start the reactor without checking. Without checking to make sure that the tank is empty. Uh, this one is going to be dramatic. Dramatic enough, in fact, that I think that looking at something like the... Uh, I think a different display would serve us better because it'll just be a really, really large blob otherwise. We can go frame by frame. So the moment, the moment after this occurs, <laughs> a single millisecond after they enable the reactor, uh, all of the deuterium goes off in a chain reaction hitting 10,000 degrees Celsius with a pressure of 10,000. Another millisecond passes. All of the titanium around the reactor core is immediately turned into molten titanium. Some of it hitting 9,000 degrees. After one more moment, it's shattered and it begins leaking. It takes about five more milliseconds for things to begin leaking into the water. Now, notice that it hasn't actually left the dam yet, but the ceramic is about to hit temperatures where it's going to go liquid, and as you can see, we've now left the dam. Let a little bit more time go on, and we can see that the molten ceramic is being thrown off of the dam, and we're about to have a massive neutron burst come out. Yeah. Don't forget about this side as well. The neutrons are beginning and the molten material is beginning to puncture the actual water of the dam. Now if you live on this side, you are absolutely doomed. If you live on this side, the water, water is actually pretty damn good at absorbing radiation um, and having a massive, massive uh, amount of water here may actually absorb a lot of the shock. And if you lived like on a hill, okay, so if you lived like down here elevation wise behind this dam somehow, it may actually protect you from the radiation, except for the stuff and fallout that comes over, of course. We, we can't do much about that, but it's better than being on this side. For example, we're just gonna put a nice brick of iron and say it's a building. Let's just put a mock city here. Oh, oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful city. All of these beautiful, beautiful buildings. So, so glad that we have such a wonderful city. Su such a beautiful city. Alright, we got, we got our city here. Um, yeah, radiation gonna kind of... <laughs> Slight, slight problem for people living in the city. But you'll notice, in the other direction, the water volume of the dam is actually kind of defending uh, whatever is back here from the blast. So, in a way, the, even if the meltdown occurred, it could have been worse. You know, the, the dam at least acted as some sort of defense mechanism, not just against the water but against the radiation and the hot material. But yeah, if you were living in the city, you're dead, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's over. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Goodbye. This, this building is just slowly falling apart as time passes. Alright guys, I have actually managed to pull off everything I wanted to do today. Um, that's it. We built a nuclear dam. It works pretty damn well. Um, I'm quite proud of it, actually. So uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more crazy things being built in the future. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.